Good day traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets currently 5:30 on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. Looking at the spy chart right here, 5 minute opening gap up, big time gap up. Not the best way to open the day with a gap up that high that just fades, gains, but doesn't break out to new highs and then drops off pretty hard. It did set up some intermittent trades here and there on this climb up. Um, and I'm talking about the SPY as an overall indicator of the whole market. Not the best trading day. Yesterday was not the best trading day. Um, but let's go through a couple of the trades where I started out as. Um, this is Tuesday, so let's go Tuesday down here. Uh, American Airlines was my first trade of the day. It's, um, you know, a lot of times when the gap up is strong for airlines, um, it definitely opened up to the way I wanted it to. You know, it came down, fell down after opening up at that 1836 level, and I took the break at the 1836 level, and it failed. Um, so I took a pretty strong stop on that one. So I got off to my first trade. I was down uh, nearly $200. Um, Maybe not that much. Um, I thought this would break out of this side and hit at least 19 and give me a nice winner, but you know, you 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 lose some, you know, that happened. So I it was down to start the day, very frustrating. But the stock I was really liking was LLY, um, Eli Lilly, um, two minute chart. You can see here, opening break just took four minutes on the six minute. I took I actually got in on this trade too early and it went against me um, enough where I bounced. I could have stayed in and, and stay, you know, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I needed to take the break of this opening candle, which was 156.32, and I jumped in too early. And if you look at this candle, it got there, but it didn't get there um, the first time it went up, and I took a loss, but then I did it again, and as you can see, it ran up pretty well. Um, I took off a lot around the 57, uh, in the 57, 157 area, close to 158. Um, I was trying to hold it, but this candle came down just enough to tap me out. Um, had I held it the rest of the day, you can see we'll go to a five minute, you can see what happened. Uh, we got this nice big move around 160 in the late afternoon. It got up to 167.43, which is a nice climb. So I'm talking 156 entry to a 167. That's 11 points. Had I held a couple shares, um, you know, the goal was to hold a couple shares into this. But if I had that kind of move, I think I would have taken it off. Um, but I didn't. And uh, but it was a nice winner. Got me back to even. Um, so that's fine. Um, another trade I missed, I was in, but I missed, was Roku at the end of the day. Someone called a break of the 115.25. I actually took the 115 break here. Um, it didn't get much out of it, and then I kind of took a break even trade, but this was the break of the 115.25 level. Uh, on this candle here, and look what it did. It went all the way up to 120.82. Uh, really strong move. Didn't come back to your entry at all, so you could have stayed in um, as long as you wanted and kept gaining. So like a five-point gainer on that one. Um, definitely a good trade if you're willing to get in it, and unfortunately, I did not hold on to it. Um, the craziest trader today was this U1. Um, opened today around like... I don't know, 669 ran up to a high of 1923, kind of flatlined the rest of the day until this afternoon, and then boom, hit 40. Um, currently, it's up 25 to 25, so it's dropped 15 points. Um, you know, this is one of those stocks, you know, 45 million traded on a small float. Very, very, very risky. These are the type of stocks I'm sure companies or government and regulators are going to look at. Um, see if there's any manipulation because you know there is. You know people are um, taking trades and getting volume pumps and all that stuff and like algorithms and whatever else is out there is happening. And 
Um, it's pretty sketchy. Obviously, if you catch a move like this, you're doing pretty good. Um, but it halted, I think, like 15 times. So it halted all the way up here, probably halted down, halted all the way up here, all the way up here, and then halted to end the day. So um, pretty crazy stock, but it pretty much covers what I was looking at today. Um, I did miss the Zoom trade. I'm starting to not like Zoom. Um, the break here on this particular break of the 238 level went all the way up to 240 something, probably 243, and uh, another five pointer I missed. So I'm missing trades, I'm not staying in my trades. I need to really focus on taking the best setups and um, getting back to what I know. You know, it's just, I'm learning, I've got a long way to go, and I keep telling, me that, telling myself that, but I really need to advance and uh, start really finding the good setups and sticking with them, not just jumping out like that Roku one. But anyway, this is Rich with some price action on the markets. It's 5.33. June 16th, make sure you like and comment. And I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with a new video.